Hi, Beatrice Ndora here. I will speak on creating a support system. Most abused people are isolated people. And even in their adulthood, most of them are still isolated. Why? Most likely when they were growing up, they were isolated and they were never encouraged to form intimate relationship. And during their adulthood, developing intimate relationships can be very challenging. Other people, maybe they had great childhood with great friends but later in their life they were into relationships with people who abused them isolated them cut them off from their family and friends they hurt and they live in that isolative pain However, working on your healing is very important and it is your responsibility. I would like to remind you that you were abused in isolation and you should not heal in isolation. You need the support of other people to heal. And therefore, what is this network I'm talking about? A network is a team of people who will support you, people who believe in you, and people who love you for who you are. And uh, this supportive um network or these supportive people they are very very important because they will bring a couple of things into your life they will encourage you these are people who will give you the support when you are down for instance the days you are down you cannot even cook a meal for yourself or even take a shower and I have been in there so I know what I'm talking about. These are the people who will come and make a meal for you and sit with you. They are encouragers. And then we also have the intellectual support. The intellectual support are the people who will connect you with resources that will help you in your healing journey. They will connect with you with resources like podcasts, like books, like identifying seminars and workshops that you can go and be empowered to take the daring bold steps in your healing journey. There is also the emotional support. The people who bring in the emotional support are the people who sit down and listen to you without interrupting you. They are people who will even encourage you to take the tiny steps in speaking about your pain and about your discouragement, about your isolation and everything which is an obstacle to your growth. These are the people who will let you express your, your feelings without stopping you. These are the people who will be there to support you as you cry, to support you as you scream, to, to support you as you shut down and they want to encourage you to open up a little bit. And these are people who will sit there and witness your feelings. 
Sometimes they'll even be there and be quiet and say nothing, but you can feel that love and support. And let me say this, your support system, the people that you bring in your team, they are people who love you unconditionally, people who respect you, people who will not judge you, people who will encourage you to heal, people who believe that you are abused and it hurts very much, and people who, who believe in your capability to heal. And uh, when you get people who are disrespecting you and judging you, they should not be part of your support team. The other thing we need is spiritual encouragement. Spiritual encouragement is very important. You need those people in your life. People who will pray with you. People who will fast for you or with you. People who will encourage you through the scripture because there is life in the word of God. People who will open your eyes to see the beauty of God's plan even in your mess. And these are people who will also push you out of your comfort zone to heal. These are people who will challenge your beliefs that are not healthy and they are a hindrance to your growth. They will challenge you to change your way of thinking so that you may see the good and the hope that is on your way. These are people who want you to be the best that God wants you to be. And let me tell you this, you can add other people into your team, a therapist, a professional counselor, a social worker, clergy. These are people that have skills. You can bring them into your team because they are trained to help you. They really know how to help you navigate the bumps and the potholes in your healing journey. So you can make an effort to get in touch with one of those people and also the people you feel that you have a connection with. I would like to encourage you that yes, you can heal and you can even come out of those childhood injuries. You can be able to heal out of that abusive relationship and you can be able to grow and even develop and maintain healthy relationships. There is hope, do not give up on yourself. And let me say thank you very much for watching this video and listening also to my podcast. I encourage you to, su to subscribe to my channel. And I am also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. You can connect with me. I am also a professional counselor and a mental health coach and a behavior specialist. And I can help you in your healing journey. I can be part of your team. You can get hold of me, 717-296-1721. And I'll also post the number beneath this, this um, video and all my details. Thank you very much. God bless you as you heal.